right, eight oats in the sports book. I kind of late checked out, walked down to the sports book, ate my oats. And now I'm in the real parking garage. My car is still here, always a plus in the real parking garage. And uh, yeah, just a few minutes after 11, I'm not even sure, usually when you're calling to put your name on the list, like for when the room opens, you need to wait until an employee is there. I think around a half hour. I don't, I'm not even sure anyone's in the poker room to answer the phone right now. So at around 11.30, I'll call, put my name on the list for Westgate, and I'll be there. First table, game starter, bo game starter bonus, extra added promotion to this, uh, to this poker challenge. And yeah, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I guess I could go to Albertsons. I could use some hand sanitizer. And uh, that's probably about it, till I'm at Westgate. All right, 11.52 uh, here outside Westgate. So I actually thought for a while yesterday about whether to start at Bally's or Westgate, decided on Westgate, I'm here. It's so much more important to get the Westgate hours. So that's gonna be my, my priority. Ideally, my next 13 hours, 45 minutes are at Westgate, ideally all today. And that would just leave tomorrow, like 11 and like five minutes at Bally's. Uh, I, I mean, it's noon, I'm here, I'm gonna be on the first table. So there's definitely gonna be 14 hours of play. I do need to leave at some point to check into the Airbnb and come back. It's not too far from here. And uh, that's it. So yeah, ideally 13 and change today at Westgate, 11 and change tomorrow at Bally's, and then Sunday after the PAT, just uh, seven at Red Rock or something like that. And then hit it all. But if, if something needs to go, it is gonna be Bally's. Uh, probably today will be something like 10 or 11 at Westgate, and then tomorrow I'll start here, and then after I'm done with like a couple hours here, play 11, or try, try to play 11. It's not really that like, I can play 11 hours, it's like 11 in a row at Bally's can be very, very boring and draining mentally, and like, that's why I was trying to break up yesterday, uh, with like two, and then like two and a half or something like that. It worked, kind of, not really, but, uh, a one 11 hour stretch at, at Bally's could be could be rough. So we'll see what happens. All right, played four hours exactly. So I need like nine, nine and 40 minutes, something like that. So I'm gonna go check into the Airbnb. I'll be back. Did see, uh, trying to show you some, uh, been thinking about trying to bring you to the table without filming at the table. So I took a picture of uh, one of the bigger pots we saw and it was nut flush draw versus pair in a flush draw. So the nut flush draw didn't have as many outs as he thought. Still hit the flush on the turn, won a big pot. And there was a third guy in there who put probably like, I don't know, maybe 50 bucks in the pot before we folded. So um, actually there was a guy right towards the end, the guy in the, one seat a few weeks ago i was waiting for a seat in another poker room i'm like one step outside the room and he leaves the poker room abruptly and i hear him on the phone say i'm nowhere near a casino as he walks past me uh the guy who started in the four seat got into a shouting match with the floor over twenty dollars and there was no controversy I, I saw the guy sit with the twenty dollars he was talking about he was trying to claim he never received it um, any other characters? Uh, that was most of it. Yeah, got, got the extra $20 game starter bonus. Uh, there are three games going, and there's a list. So yeah, Friday makes more sense. A little more action going on in there. So I'm gonna go to the Airbnb. Probably see you back here, right in this spot, in about uh, two hours, but wearing different clothes. All right, uh, made a little bit of time. It's like 6.16 a little better time than I thought I would. Uh, not back in the in the surface lot in the parking garage. Looking at the uh, golf course. You know this golf course right behind Westgate? In the movie Casino, when uh, the helicopter is following Joe Pesci around and runs out of gas and lands on the golf course? Uh, this is the golf course. I don't know if this is where they filmed it, but this is where, like, in Vegas, it was supposed to be happening. Uh, Stu Unger lived here. It's like a country club with, uh, you know, houses. I forget the name of it, but yeah, there were just two guys on the green. Guess they just finished. I was gonna see if they made their putts or not, but I guess I got in here a little late. So I'm gonna go play.
Alright, played exactly 8 hours in this second session, so combined with the first exactly 12 hours today. For one, it's been a while since I played a 12 hour day, so uh, got a lot of hours in. I need around like an hour 50, 2 hours, an hour 45, something like that to hit the 30 here. So tomorrow I'll do the same thing I did today at the beginning. Get my name on the list before the room even opens. Uh, be on the first table, game starter bonus, 20 bucks, and play the two hours, and then I should be at a game in Bally's by like 2.45, and play Bally's until 1.45 a.m. I mean, there's plenty of time in the day to do this. My fear is that Bally's could get boring. And yeah, I might mix it up with some uh, limit hold'em tomorrow, so. It's looking good. I guess tomorrow's the most difficult day. It's the most poker hours. Although Sunday is still a long day. It's only seven. See, it's it's seven for like, if tomorrow goes according to plan, Sunday is seven hours at Red Rock slash Golden Nugget. But I still need to wake up on like not that much sleep, get to Bally's by 10, play the PAT, even though those hours aren't really in the 60 for the challenge. It's still gonna happen. Uh, then go to Excalibur take some stuff up to my room and hopefully on a table at Red Rock by like two, I guess. So yeah, plenty of hours in the day and my plan Sunday is to show you both, Red Rock and Nugget. Also planning in a little bit of a slideshow, show you like walking through the slot machines at Red Rock and then take a bunch of pictures at the table and uh, add a voiceover to it. Let you see the cards, the chips, the felts, the chairs, everything like that. And do the same thing at Nugget if I uh, happen to play both. So just walk through a spider web, but I'm good. Get back to the Airbnb. Actually, it'll be a fair amount of sleep I get in the Airbnb. It's not like I only have like three hours or anything. Should sleep like six and a half, seven hours. And uh, yeah, I'll be back here. I am gonna give you the hours and profits exactly at the end. But if you're wondering, both sections, both sessions were winners today. So that's cool. And yeah, three games going in there. Great week if you're in town. The uh, the pool players week. There's two main ones, a third one that isn't talked about as much. And uh, yeah, great weeks to be playing poker at Westgate. So with the uh, golf car, golf course sitting in the dark over there. I am back at my car, and I will see everyone tomorrow for day six of the challenge. And remember, rice is a spoon food.